All right, so when we are, right, so today we're going to go over uh, multiplying numbers and scientific notation. And um, when we do this, right, one of the things we want to make sure that we remember um, are two things that you have already learned about, and that is the commutative property of multiplication and the rules for adding exponents, like when you multiply two numbers with exponents. So if we're going to be multiplying numbers, right, this is 3 times 10 to the 6 times 4 times 10 to the 4th. Right, this is different than when we are adding or subtracting. And so that means we can multiply in whatever order we want to. So the way um, that to multiply in scientific notation is to then just take these values and kind of rewrite them in a different order. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, the number that's being multiplied by the power of 10, and we're going to multiply those over here. So we're just going to move them to the front. And then we're going to multiply them. So remember, it's just all multiplication. But so now we can multiply right, our powers of 10. So now we're just going to take the powers of 10 and we're going to multiply them in the back. And it is the commutative property of multiplication that lets us be able to just kind of multiply these in whatever order we want. And then we can see that 3 times 4 is just 12 times. Right? And remember, if we're going to multiply and we have the same base, the rule is we can just add these exponents, right? So this is just like 6 tens multiplied in a row times 4 more tens. And so then this is, we can just add these exponents. So this is going to be 10 to the 10th power. Okay. Now, that is pretty easy. And so I'm going to always recommend we use this method. There's not like with adding and subtracting, uh, there were two methods that were, you know, kind of depending on the situation. Uh, one might be more easy to use than another. But with multiplying, this is how we're always going to do it. However, we want our answer in scientific notation. This is not in scientific notation. So then we have to think to ourselves, what do we need to do? Well, this number is more than 10. But 1.2 is not, right? But 12, right, is not 1.2. 1.2 times 10 is 12. So we can kind of like change 12 into 1.2 times 10 because those two things are equal. Right? So they are the same thing. I'm going to put an, an exponent of 1 on the 10. It's there, but you know we're going to use it here in just a second. We want to be able to see that. And then 10 to the 10th. And then so what we're going to have to do is one more time, right, join up these powers of 10. So now we're going to use that same rule we just used and add one more power of 10. And so that our final answer is 1.2 times, and then this would be 10 to the 11th power. Okay, so technically, yes, could you take these two numbers and multiply them? Uh, like, but what you're going to end up with is, you know, a lot, a lot of zeros, and it's going to be kind of hard to manage. So this is the easiest way to do that. All right, so let's go over one more example of multiplying numbers in scientific notation. So let's see, um, right, what if we had uh, 1.2 times 10 to the 5th times 3 times 10 to the 7th? So we have these two numbers in scientific notation, All right? Now, I know, I see multiply, 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 and multiply. And so what we can do is just change the order that these numbers are multiplied in. So we're going to take these non-base 10 numbers, like, and we're going to, or not, they're, they're base 10, but they're not 10 uh, with an exponent on them, and multiply those two numbers together. And then we're still multiplying, just a bunch of multiplication in